fans, this is Stephen Forrester, your Eastland County Today Sports Editor. I'm just looking here at the latest copy of the sports edition found in our paper. It is outstanding. And I want just to encourage you, if you haven't picked up a copy, to do so at your local newsstand. Or, what I've got even a better offer is to subscribe to the Eastland County Today. For $45 for the entire year, you can have the Eastland County Today with the sports page and, the, and, and all the county news delivered to your mailbox. $45 entire year, every week, the paper will come to your mailbox. And with the, the, the physical edition, we also provide a digital edition for you, for your tablet, for your phone, for your laptop. You get, you get access and you see the entire paper in digital color. It is outstanding to look at. You get it about Wednesday evening, even before the hard, comp hard copy comes out Thursday. To subscribe, you can either contact the office at 629 1707 or you can email me ecn sports at att.net and we will take care of you man this is what you get you get football news sport uh, pictures volleyball cross country basketball baseball you're going to get it all plus the news of the county subscribe today to eastland county today Hello sports fans and welcome to another edition of the Eastland Coaches Show. Just a few moments, we're going to go to the field house and check out what Coach Morton has to say about last Friday evening. Speaking of last Friday, the Mavericks got back into the win column. It was homecoming in Eastland and so the, 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 the stands were packed with Maverick fans and exes all around having a great time and the Mavericks prevailed with a 48 to 15 win over the Comanche Indians. Let's now go to the field house and see what Coach Morton has to say. All right, Coach Morton, again, thanks for your time this to, uh, this Monday morning. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the victory Friday evening. Your boys get back on the winning track uh, against Comanche. Uh, tell us what you've seen from the sideline, how the boys performed uh, Friday evening. Well, it was a good homecoming win. You know, we talked about starting hot and uh, getting after it and playing hard for four quarters and uh, that's probably the thing I was most proud of is um, they cut it loose and played a lot harder and played a lot more just on their instinct, uh, you know, and they weren't thinking. They were just reacting. Uh, got off to a big play, first play of the game. Peyton Whaley gets the interception, uh, sets the offense up with a short field, and the uh, offense goes in and converts it and uh, scores a touchdown. Uh, it kind of snowball for us that entire night. I think other than the one drive we had in the first half when we had a uh, holding call on a third down that we converted, to a first down and got us backed up and we couldn't convert that uh, for the for the most part uh, the rest of that first half uh, we converted all of our drives and uh, defense played well right before halftime I was talking about carrying that momentum into halftime and uh, actually uh, Comanche scored just before half uh, to get on the board um, but third quarter we came back out uh, and offense again played well uh, third quarter and put a couple scores up so uh, we're pleased with our effort uh, I really you know, we've had more explosives that game uh, than we've had any others. I thought uh, our passing game uh, really kind of started to shine and, and take over, and the timing of it looked a lot better with our receivers and our quarterback. Yes, sir. Let's talk about one of those receivers. Had a good game Friday evening, J.R. Fullen. He, he seemed to be having a great game. We talked a little earlier also about his kicking game. Tell us about how, how Fullen contributes to your offense and to your overall scheme. Yes, sir. Uh, J.R. did have a big night. You know, that's his first – his first catch of the year was a touchdown, so uh, he did a good job on that. And then he had the deep ball that Mason hit him on too. That was a big play. I think seventy plus yard touchdown, uh, and just really showed up. And had a good night for us. And then in the second half, had another uh, touchdown that was kind of on a tip drill, uh, but had good focus and concentration and got in the end zone. Uh, you know, Jr.'s got an extremely strong leg, uh, kicking the ball really well. He had a fifty-five yard field goal against Breckenridge. I think the thing we want to see on our P18 field goals is just more consistency in striking the ball. Uh, his punting, though, I think is really helping us, too. Uh, you know, you don't want to have to punt, but if you do, I feel good about him, either with the deep ball, uh, being able to get the ball launched and getting the ball deep off his foot, or uh, he's also got the ability to place the ball uh, and set the defense up, you know, 
in a good position, you know, 90 plus yards that the offense is going to have to drive on you. We've done that several times this year. So uh, he's doing a good job uh, overall, JR is. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this week is an open week for you. Before district, we got district starting in two weeks. Tell us a little bit about your game plan concerning uh, your preparation of the boys for this week uh, with that, without that, like you said, the measuring stick Friday evening. Sure. You know, I think the big thing is, you know, you want to, I think we're a good football team. We got to get to be a great football team. Uh, and there's those little things on each side of the ball that we have uh, that we need to improve on. Uh, and, you know, just getting our coaches to, to be down on what those two or three things are uh, on each side of the ball in special teams uh, and then focus on those, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, and then start getting a laser focus for Toller on Thursday. Uh, you know, Toller's a good football team. They're undefeated uh, and have a lot of big playmakers. And so um, we got to have a little bit extra time to prep for them and get ready and also get healed up and, uh, you know, get the players' legs back under them as we head into our district. Yes, sir. Again, thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Coach Morton, for taking some time out of your busy Monday morning to spend with us. As we talked about in the interview, this Friday evening is a bye. It's an open. The Mavericks get the rest just a little bit. Coach Morton Coach Morton's getting his guys ready for their first district matchup against a tough Toller Radler team next week. All right, let's see what else is going on in Eastland Sports. The Lady Mavs have begun district play. They've finally begun district play in volleyball. Had a tough matchup against the Comanche Maidens this past Saturday morning, and the Maidens took all three sets. They were close back and forth, but the Maidens were able to pull out the victory. The Lady Mavs continue their district schedule this week. Check out uh, the copy, our copy of the sports edition in your local Eastland County today for all the calendar events for the Lady Mavs. Cross country also running. Can't forget those runners. Uh, they'll be in Brock this week as well, running against some very tough competition down in Brock. Let's go Mavs and Lady Mavs. Yeah.